Melody and City 105.1. I think this is the first time we are having a conversation, Victorini, right? Yeah. This is the first time. Yeah. Supposed to have one one time. What happened? Yeah. If you came late or so. We're in traffic now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's actually cool to have you on the show yeah, and um, finally have a conversation with you. Mm-hmm. Um, how have you been? How have you been? Man, I've been good, man. I've no, I don't mean that. Like, how have you been? I'm like <laughs> genuinely asking. Like, how have you been? Honestly. Honestly, I, f- I mean, prior Come to now. Come your mic. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, before now, you know, mm-hmm. I've, been, I've been inside. Yeah. Bored, you know, just living life on like a routine base. But right now, you know, going out, going for interviews, about to be back on stage. Yeah, I feel good. I'm so excited. Back on stage? Yep. From tomorrow. From tomorrow, actually. You'll be performing? Yeah, I'll be performing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get there, but... <laughs> okay. Um, where do we even start from? There's so much to talk about. So, speaking about you being indoors, never not, not coming out for a minute, and mm-hmm. just doing your thing inside the house mm-hmm. and being bored, I can imagine how that feels because when we started dealing with the pandemic at first, yeah. people were allegedly losing their minds when they had to be indoors, like not go out, not go yeah. to work, yeah. not um, associate with people, yeah. and not like um, be in the same space as people because of the of the of the um, the virus and yeah. everything. Yeah. Now, having you do that because of what reason? You wanna tell us why? You've not been outside? Uh, I had an accident. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I had to undergo treatment, you know. Yeah. I had to be, like, healthy hmm. enough, you know, to be able to, like, be back on the road. Hmm. And apart from that, I had to be okay mentally, hmm. you know. So, yeah, that's why I was inside for a while. And I just wanted to be in my space, you know, hmm. just digest everything that happened properly, you know. Yeah. Deal with it fight my demons and basically be outside again hmm. so yeah that whole process just made me stay inside stay indoors hmm. so yeah okay so how has that been dealing with your demons because as people <laughs> generally one thing that we are not very good with this mm-hmm. is like aside from you you know um doing that for reasons like your accident and stuff yeah as a person we're always running away from taking accountability and yeah. just processing things and just a- you know asking ourselves questions yeah. Yeah. and answering questions it's not something that we like to do as young people that's mm-hmm. why lots of people run away from therapy yeah. it's like no no i don't want to talk about it let me just you know but how has that been for you the journey of acceptance of asking yourself questions of processing yeah. everything that's happened to you so, uh, far? so honestly like if you don't accept where you're coming from yeah you can't move right mm. so no matter how long you run if you keep mm. running, it's just going to keep haunting you or mm. keep chasing you one mm. way or the other. Mm. I mean, if you run, it's temporary, right? Yeah. And then in the future, it might come back to you. Mm. So, I mean, man, I just made that decision, you know, like, I just, when, when I say demons, I'm talking about voices in my head that, yeah. that remind me about the accidents or, you know, at one time, I'm like, is it my fault? Because, like, I was supposed to, you know, leave Lagos. Yeah. And then I, like, I had one interview. Yeah and i stayed back so hmm. i'm like oh is, is this my fault so i hmm. had I, that, that 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 stage was really really weird for me hmm. so like i had like voices in my head saying different things oh maybe even if, if you did this if if you didn't do this you know hmm. so that whole process like i had to like just accept that yo life happened hmm. and there's there was little or nothing i could have done about it hmm. it's just life man like you hmm. can't predict it you can't you can't be so in charge right so hmm. and that process made me just draw closer to my spiritual self you hmm. know i mean like prior to the accident you know i've just been on the go do this do that school lagos cool. forgetting to but I mean, I pray, but not not as often. Well, right? now you have to come <laughs> pray. So I'm like, you know, man, I, I, like I had to like I had to like you know draw closer to God and just yeah. communicate with Him, man. Yeah. Like ask Him, what does this experience mean? What mm. what did you want me to learn from, from this, this experience? experience right. Mm. So yeah. So and that aided me as well. You know. Yeah. And I drew strength from my spirituality and yeah. So. Hmm. So you spoke about um after the accident having conversations with yourself like is this my fault did you mm. ever go through that point where you were blaming yourself like yeah i did why I, it just came to me man like i said like did i you felt have like people around you blaming you no 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 nobody okay. nobody i mean okay. I, I i communicated the issue 
to my sister. I told yeah. her that you man, this one I'm feeling right, and yeah. then she said it's not your fault, right? So and family also help family and yeah, friends, right? Yeah, I saw right? videos so, of your yeah. family members around you the entire so, time. So I mean, it just came to me like I felt like oh, if I had stayed in school, right, probably this wouldn't have happened. Hmm. But I mean, it's life, hey. Yeah, so, things happen. What yeah. school? I mean, food to the Federal University of Technology. Oh, what are you studying? Petroleum engineering. How are you doing that? <laughs> right. Have you been in school recently? Yeah, I just came out from yes. school. Yeah, I just okay. came out from school. Okay. Two weeks ago. Okay. And yeah, I just finished my exams actually. Okay. What level are you? Four hundred. Four hundred. So yeah. you've got one more year. One more year. So it's like five years, right? Five years I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so um, shuffling school, your career, um, you know, the physical stress that the accident has had mm-hmm. on you and your, on your body and the mental stress how has mm-hmm. that been man trust me is a lot a lot hmm. ah is really really stressful you know sometimes man i'll be like ah so i have to be in school again i have to be in lagos again i have to be back to school but basically man it, it is what it is i have to do what i have to do like hmm. my my situation can't get the best of me so i yeah. i have to pull through either ways so i'm just doing it i i win the battle mentally Hmm. first and then every other thing is just a plus so So speaking about winning the battle mentally Mm -hmm. that's why shout out to you for you know the mental the mental strength to do what you're doing yeah and you know deciding to go on with your career Mm -hmm. with school you know now you spoke about performing from tomorrow on stage yeah that is a lot yeah that takes a lot of mental strength yeah so shout out to you and your team and your family members and everyone around you making that work yeah but did you did you did you do therapy for your for your mental i didn't why you uh, have not done therapy till now. I mean, no, no, no. I mean, my my family they were really saying I should, right? I like think you everybody, should. everybody. But I mean, I might maybe sometime. But I just really wanted to like be in my own space. I really needed to communicate with myself yes. first off yes. before relating the problem to another, another person. person. So yeah, but I think I've passed that phase. So I don't know if I need it or not. Mm, so this is I, <laughs> this is just my honest opinion i feel like aside from what you went through and everything mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. is also part of it but generally yeah. as young people we've been through so much yeah. the pandemic yeah. we're going through so much in nigeria you know money stress of life yeah then adding that to it i think we all need therapy I need and i also think that. we yeah. need to normalize therapy yeah. and i yeah. think you need to go for therapy yeah. i know that sometimes we're so scared to talk about these things to other mm. people like no nobody should get into my head yeah but i true, promise you'd feel true. better one thing that i know you'll feel better after therapy okay. i think you'll feel better i'll give it a therapy. try okay okay <laughs> now let's talk about the fantastic year you've been having with music mm-hmm. you're you're on one of the biggest songs in nigeria right now holy father mm-hmm. um with me you've got um a song with rexy yeah you've got a song with um savage yeah man and the song that i jammed before we came on that that one you dropped that one like a couple of months ago but oh, i yeah, actually, actually love it yeah, yeah that's the one with fouls yeah. talking about a girl in a sundress <laughs> what is it with you on girls in sundresses <laughs> is that your favorite thing to see a girl on share with me yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, they just shows all the sex in this. Big Tony Mark by me now. <laughs> okay, um, so the song with me, Okundi Holy Father, when did you record that one? Is so, it a recent collaboration? No, so actually, I recorded before the accident, right? And w- with me, Okun? Yeah. Oh. Actually, I came back to Lagos yeah. for some kind of shoots with me, like I showed it, we were supposed to shoot a video in his house, oh. right? So I think to the video later, of that song, yeah, not okay. the video, but okay. like content for like promo and okay, all that. Of the song, okay. So I think two days later, that's when the accident happened. So I, that was my main reason for being in Lagos. Exactly, Holy Father. So I was supposed to go back, and then at the airport, literally at the airport, that's when they told me that, oh, can I push my flights if I could do like one more interview? I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. And yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, we recorded it before the accident, and that was like I pre- last year, basically. Last year. So, huh. my father's like a year old. Huh. So, after you did the recording with me, Uncle, and you know, you went out and mm-hmm. you had the accident and stuff, how did you have the conversation with me, Uncle, afterwards? Did you guys talk about it? Like, uh, it was not immediate. I mean, but later. Yeah, but later, yeah. So, I, I mean, 
they ask if I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm like, yeah, it's okay. Worry, let's, it's okay. Let's put out the record. Let's, let's man. put out the record. <laughs> let's, like, bro, <laughs> let's, do, let's do it. Yeah. But I'm sure he would like, because he, he had to ask you that question. Like, mm-hmm. how do yeah. you feel about yeah, it emotionally? Yeah. Well, but City Record now is doing so much numbers. People are loving it. Yeah, yeah. I think you absolutely killed the hook on that song. Thank you. Thank and I'm you. looking forward to your hook run. I think that's gonna happen maybe yeah. 2022 yeah. and you know going on some wild hook run H- how how does that make you feel well uh i feel good man yeah i feel good i'm excited for what's about to come yeah so i'm sure so you feel it i feel it man it's a lot <laughs> i feel it coming <laughs> it's a lot trust me yeah trust me it's a lot and i saw your post about um being on a number one song that that's your first time you've been on a song that's that got the number time. one and yeah. you're so excited about it yeah um, i think i shot the video no, not yet. Not yet. Oh, I mean, let me tell you something that happened to me. Yeah. So after you guys dropped the song, the Holy Father song, I really like messed with the song. So I went on YouTube to search for the video of the song. Mm. I was gonna have an interview with Miyoko, so I wanted to like get all the up. I'm like, ah, has the video dropped? Has the video not dropped? So I went yeah. on YouTube and I typed like, um, Holy, Holy Father, Father yeah. and I saw the video. Yeah. But I didn't know the video was an old video. So I was really enjoying the video. I don't know who made the video. Are you serious? Then I went on social media. <laughs> then I put it, put out on social media like, yeah. oh my God, I just saw the video of Holy Father. Yeah. And I see Victoria in the video having fun. And just, I'm like, wow, he's mm. on his feet. And people were like, where? Which <laughs> video did you see? How did you see Victoria on his feet? People I were legit like, asking. I think, I think I saw that video. You, say, yeah, I you think saw the I saw video, right? Video, yeah, and people were asking me questions like, no, wait, wait, share the link, share the link. Mm. Then I went back and I'm like, wait, someone said, no, the, that's not the video. Mm-hmm. So I had to text someone at Sony Music to say, I just shot the video. And like, no, I'm like, I just put out a message saying that they've done it. <laughs> so I went back and said, no, 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 it's not the official video. Someone on YouTube mm. been messing with my head. So yeah, sure. how is the process of shooting that video? I mean, man. I, Have you guys talked about it? Yeah, we're talking about it. We're yeah. talking about it. But we're really trying to, you know, we're really trying to put out a visual that when people see. Yes it's really good you know me i'm a, i'm like i'm really about it i'm really about the art right yes so like we're really trying to get it together artistically mm. first, first. okay before actually shooting it so okay. i mean that's taking time but we're in the process of doing that and yeah it's coming out good it's coming out good coming so far out good. so good yeah okay so when you say you're performing tomorrow um you're, you're gonna start performing from tomorrow on stage mm-hmm. please i don't know want to make any assumptions please tell me how that's gonna work <laughs> It's going to work now. I mean, uh, uh, people are coming to listen to my music and I'm going to sing to them. So okay. the music is We're not going to have like... Part. No, 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 no. Okay, no. Definitely okay. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely you not. But the, I mean, man, it's the music. So yeah. whether I'm sitting, standing, standing, jumping, running, anything, yeah. it's really about the music, right? It's about the music. So, yeah, so I believe that's what they are coming to listen to. Yeah. 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 Are you gonna give them a show? Mm-hmm. So what what um what show are you starting with tomorrow? What show? Yeah. Uh the live in concert. Okay. Okay. Powered by Kuda Bank. So okay. it's gonna be at um Ultima Studios. Okay. So you have a set there tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so go party with Vic Tony. If you're a big fan of his music and you wanna rock with him, he's performing tomorrow. Any new song from your camp, like a like you know, a Vic Tony song. Oh, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're no, no, nah, that's not the question. <laughs> I know you're chilling. You look like you're chilling, but tell me. It's any a new song. It's a new song. Why? You're not back in the studio, yeah? No pressure. I have, I've been in the studio. Okay. Hmm, I, I might have out. Not in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, for now, we're just. Let's let every record out there marinate well. Let people digest my sound properly. properly. And then from next year, give New them, Vic Tony, give them give properly. Them. <laughs> so, how do you describe your sound, Vic Tony? Sound outlaw music. I know you have this gothic thing going on, like this really dark. What's that about? Uh, it's 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 like it's like a mood. Basically, I yeah. make different type of music, right? Okay. So, so I mean, like with your art, when you're not not, not like the music, mm-hmm. like when you're posting videos mm-hmm. or your the music influences yeah. the art. Okay. So if I'm doing a song about, uh. For instance, I have a song broken, right? And okay. then you saw the whole suicide thing. And yeah. So just basically. That's when I saw it. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> so like, I'm Holy just... Father, <laughs> save me from Victoria. <laughs> yeah, man. So, I mean, with, with, with Brooklyn, I was really trying to express, like, to the fullest. Hmm. You know, I, I, like, I want, I really wanted to express what heartbreak could be. Hmm. You know, like, many people go through heartbreaks and, you know, in Nigeria, they will tell you, oh, I know a guy, man, <laughs> but I really yeah. wanted to express that. Well, guys are really going through to, it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, so, I mean, the music influences the art. So, yeah. whatever I have to do to, you know, 
pass the message pass the right message. way. Pass the message. Show what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll do it, man. Yeah. So, yeah. So. Have you ever been heartbroken? Recently. I mean, no, not recently. No recently. Yeah, How, long I mean, <laughs> <laughs> How long ago? How long ago? Mm, it's been a while. It's been a long time. Yeah, long What's the girl's name? Is it <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um. So, how do you describe your sound? Like, how? What would you say so if you wanted to describe your Tony sound using three words? How would you describe your sound and what you do and what you represent as an artist? Mm, three words. Let me see. I say liquid. I say liquid because my sound can take any form any shape hmm. and i say mm, let me see let me see let me see i say we could i'll say general as far for everybody mm-hmm. right like it sounds for everybody mm-hmm. and i'd say i say um different unique hmm. so i mean it's, it can take any form any mm-hmm. shape it's mm-hmm. for everybody but mm-hmm. when you hear it you know you it's Big Tony, Big Tony. okay yeah. so someone sent me a message saying Holy Father um, Big Tony and Mayokun 100 Chinko Ekun talked about Big Tony's single with found on a podcast saying he was wild how people were singing along to the song on stage okay mm. did you see did you did you catch that interview someone just sent him down one saying he listened to a podcast that had Chinko Ekun on it when he gave you credit no no no, he didn't no, catch no, it. no didn't okay catch okay, okay. Thank you so for, well, for thank that you, message. Thank, thank you. you for the message. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to him. Um, so back to you. And uh, are you ready for your stage performance now? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you sure? Yeah. Have you been psyching yourself like you're gonna kill it? <laughs> oh, I thought it, man. Like I've been, I've been imagining the whole what's going to be like, man. I've, I've been imagining it for like yeah. some. I'm you're really pumped. excited, you're man. Pumped. I'm pumped, man. Okay, yeah. okay. Looking forward to that. Um, so fingers crossed. So you're dropping a body. Of, sorry, body of work. No. Right, is it body award? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was intentional. I'm not sorry anything. <laughs> but yeah, are we getting a body award from Victor? I don't year? know. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly. Well, we're getting single. Uh, I, it just depends on my mood, right? <laughs> so. So you don't want to any unreleased Victorian style? Come on. Is there any? Okay, so are we getting any other Victorian style before the end of the year? Before the end of the year. I don't know, man. Like, I just did more freestyle on my Instagram yesterday. I was about to mention that one. And so, wait. <laughs> you went fire on that beat. The Squid, the squid you, Game yeah, beat. Yeah. How did you do that? I just did it, man. I, I heard the beat. I'm like, yo, man, this beat is it's fire. Flame. Bro. <laughs> it is. Yes, yeah, so I just did it, man. I'd, I can decide on more. To drop it, right? I think mm-hmm. you should. Yeah. I think you should drop it. Yeah, man. Who's that guy? The guy in the background that was giving you the ginger? I see you over there. <laughs> 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 I was like, wait, oh, this guy danced fast, the person we even get. So <laughs> but that was really beautiful. Shout yeah, out to you. Yeah, um, I think you should you. put out that one. And shout out to you too for mm-hmm. the hype and everything. And I'm looking forward to everything you're working on yeah. from next year, Victory. Yeah. And I repeat, I think you should do therapy. I think you would be good. It, that would be really fantastic. Right, and yeah. I hope you kill your performance from tomorrow. Take breaks. You don't, no pressure. Take yeah, breaks. And shout out to your, to your clan, to your family and friends. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you were overwhelmed by the love. Did you expect that? Um, Honestly, I when did you, not. When you were in the hospital and you saw When I woke up, I'm like, ah, ah. It's just me, like, Victory, how did I train? How did I train, number one? How did I... How did so many people reach out like yeah. to get? But I mean, man, it just it just made me know that oh, like I had really impacted like a lot of people, like a yeah. lot of people are actually listening to me, yeah. and I had more more fans that I knew to get. So I mean, man, I was overwhelmed definitely. Okay, but did yeah. you reach out to the people like a lot of celebrities jumped in? Yeah, definitely. I reached out back, man. Like, like thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate this. Okay, um, go show his. Songs, um, any song that you've got to that Victoni's on right now, go show him love. Um, you can send him messages on social media, right? At Victoni, he's got a new song with a um, couple of new songs actually one with Mayoko, one with Savage, Savage. one with Rexy. Rexy. Uh-uh, <laughs> you're hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Victoni, for pulling up on us. And when thank you drop you. the singles next year, we should have another conversation. I'll be mm-hmm. looking forward to mm-hmm. um, looking out for your performances on stage and sending you all the love. Anytime I catch you on stage. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank take you. good care of yourself. Right. Do not go anywhere. This is your number one lifestyle station. My name is Melody, and you just heard from Tony. All right. For the Melody and City 105.1.